Hey guys, my camera with Matt and Baby Trevor. Hello. We're doing a show. Flash Tastic. The one you know on the Xbox Live. That's right. That's a pretty cool getup. I like your glasses and your headphones. You look exactly like Baby Driver, which yeah. is a fantastic film. But we're not here for Baby Driver. We're here for oh. Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty Box. That's right. This is the, the new one, which is Droids. And guys, before we start off with anything, let me just say it is awesome to have you guys back on the show. Daddy missed you a lot. Do the pin, you can do the patch, I'll do the shirt, and you guys can do the pops, okay? Okay, the Ready? patch is really awesome. Yes, 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 yes. Right here. Show them, what is that? What is that? Ooh. Those are one of the guards, the droid guards, in uh, episode one, The Phantom Menace. And they always seem to, for whatever reason, gravitates towards Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon Jinn. Oh. They're actually really funny in the film. Go ahead. This is in Lego Star Wars. It is also in Lego Star Wars. That's good. I'm yeah. glad that you mentioned that. That is very good. Uh, what do you think of the uh, colors? I think it's awesome. And I like the Star Wars. Oh, you like the Star Wars logo. It's very prominent in the top. That's very good. I love these enamel pins. Oh, that is fantastic. Flash Tastic, you want to go ahead and take over the patch? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and do the patch. Ooh, Ooh this is together. this is epic. Before you show them, guys, I cannot stress this enough. One of the most iconic droids in Star Wars, other than R2-D2, has to be what? C-3PO. That is right. That is amazing. Ooh, that and is it shows... Oh my god, I didn't even look at that. I didn't even wow. notice that. Dude, it's R2-D2 on the bottom oh, with C-3PO nice. on top. What do you think of the uh, patch, Flash Tastic? I think it's really cool and I could kind of see the details. And I wish for the details they could kind of make it darker so you could actually see it. But oh. it's my favorite. You know what? I, I understand what you're saying. It is completely all gold, which uh, leaves very little room for any sort of contrast. A little black stitching would have made the actual patch pop, no pun intended. Uh, I really like it, what do you think? I really like it too. That is This fantastic. is my favorite droid. It is your favorite droid. Mine yeah. too. It is your favorite droid so much that you actually cosplayed as that droid. We'll put some pictures up right here, guys. If you guys haven't seen it, these guys were Kylo Ren Funko Pop and C-3PO Funko Pop, yeah. and it was amazing. amazing. It was. Uh, kamikaze. You guys ready to get inside the box? Yeah. yeah. All right, you guys don't mind if I do the shirt? Yeah. There is a shirt in here, guys, and it is 100% exclusive to Funko, and it is 100% awesome. Guys, one of the best scenes of episode seven, to me, one of the most touching is when BB-8 finds R2-D2, and he's able to kind of like turn him back on. That was a very touching moment, and guess what guys, Funko was able to recapture that in the form of a shirt. Ooh, this is top. fantastic, look at that. Oh, look at that. Whoa. That is beautiful. It kind of looks like a pop version. That's right. It's two different eras, two different generations coming together for the better of wow. the galaxy. This oh. is the way they were able to find Jedi Luke Skywalker. Yeah. We have them. Um, BB-8 pop, BB don't we? Pop. Yeah, it's yeah. the yeah. Comic Con 2016 summer exclusive. I don't know if you guys can see it with all that glare. And funny you mention that because Comic Con is actually going on right now. And have fun for those of you that are going to San Diego Comic Con. All right, the moment we've been waiting for, the pops. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, Marty Combat, go ahead and get the first pop. Oh. This one right here. That is epic. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? This is oh, ooh, R5D4. R5 oh. That is fantastic. Now, I think I'm one of those guys that knows quite a bit about Star Wars, but unfortunately, I just don't remember where this is from. But what do you think of the overall design? I think it's awesome. Quick. That one kind of looks like from Rogue One. It does. And it also kind of looks like uh, R2-D2. Like if they got the body from R2-D2 and placed another yeah. head on it. True. It's a bubble head. Oh, wow. It is fantastic. I love the detail on this. It is amazing. I like how it kind of looks like a B-8. 
BB-8. It does kind of you know what it's kind of like a hybrid between BB-8 and R2-D2. Yeah. My favorite thing is that it's aged but what do you think of the overall pop? I think it's legendary. You do? You like the design scheme and the paint? It can stand up with his arms. Oh it can. It absolutely can. That is amazing. I always like that droids always have antennas. They do, huh? That's where they communicate or, or transmit information. Yeah. That's very good. All right, guys. So this pop is epic, but we have one more pop to show you guys. And as soon as I saw this, I think I almost shed a tear. But we'll, we'll let these guys take it away. Flash tastic. Without further ado, go ahead and grab that one. Unfinished C3PO. That is right from Episode One uh, and Episode Two as well. Um, of course, young Anakin Skywalker is working on his droid. C3PO. That's right. And wow. Anakin, of course, grows up to be um, Darth, Vader. Darth Vader. That is absolutely right. Take it out of the box, buddy. Oh, wow. Oh, in the back it has him. So we got both of these. That's right. Oh. oh that is wow. fantastic. What do I you really think? I really like the cables on his eyes and on his back of his head and mm -hmm. everywhere. It's really detailed in my opinion. It is. Um, my feelings on Funko Pops when I collect them is I try to gravitate towards what's the most detailed. Meaning if, if they're going to cost the same throughout, might as well just get one that's highly detailed. It makes it all the more worth it. But what do you think guys overall of the box? Awesome and legendary and epic and amazing and everything that's awesome. There you go. There you go. What do you think? What you All right. So, what would you give this box? A 10 out of 10. You want to give this box a 10 out of 10? Yes. yes. All right. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I'm going to go ahead and have to agree with this. The patch was amazing. The pin was fantastic. And unfinished C3PO. Honestly, San Diego Comic Con's going on right now. This is something that you would expect to stress over getting at San Diego Comic Con right here. The Detail is meticulous. So we're gonna go ahead and give this 10 out of 10. What would you use as a means of grading? The pop. C3PO pop? Yeah. All right, Unfinished. excellent, excellent. Unfinished C3PO pop. So we're gonna go ahead and give this 10 out of 10 C3PO pops out of 10. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have anything nice to say to these awesome people out here on YouTube? Go ahead. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment below. That's right, guys. Go ahead and super smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you know uh, when we upload our videos. And once again, guys, thank you so much for the support. You guys have been fantastic. Ninja Vanish? Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Join the subscriber contest. Enjoy. Let's check it out.